Hi, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. It's been a while since I've posted a video, and I'm so sorry about that, but um, just so you know, uh, plus being a business owner, I have two little children that are two and four, so a busy mom. Um, I'm pretty much uh, cooking my garden right now, making soups and canning spaghetti sauce uh, to get ready for winter. I'm also back to school. And, um, as you may know, I will be a speaker at the HSCG um, 2015 conference in Indianapolis, so i got to prepare for that. And I will be a speaker at the first annual conference for the Canadian Guild of Soap Makers, Chandlers and Cosmetic Crafters in uh, October 2015. So that keeps me pretty busy. Anyhow, um, today I will be soaping with alcohol uh, because I'm making my Christmas soaps and we have a local producer that makes uh, alcohol here with hand-picked berries that are actually hand-picked here. So this is a raspberry liquor. I will be making soap with this today and um, my base for this soap is coconut oil, lots of olive oil, palm oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, beeswax, and coconut milk. So let's go. So I'm ready to mix my ingredients. My additives are here. Uh, coconut milk, the alcohol, the raspberry liquor, my fragrance oil, my pot of oil, and these are ready to mix the color in. I have some TD right here and some activated charcoal right here. So I've um, done my first soap today and I will be doing another one. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole process but I thought since I have a little time I will show you uh, just when I pour it into the mold because my first attempt was to make a drop swirl but it ended up being a plip plop <laughs> swirl and this one the consistency is much better. As you can see I'm not even stressed. It's been like this for like 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my in the pot swirl and then I will pour right in front of you.
So my soap is cured since yesterday. And see, I have a hinge right here. I actually built those boxes a long time ago. These were the first molds that I made to make uh, cold processed soaps. So anyways, I can just slide the block right out. Oops. I got this log splitter from a for craft sakes they are the same company that made my uh, my big block um, soap molds and it's actually the first time that I'm gonna use it so there's three wires that are tightened here with the keys and I'm just gonna put my loaf right here and split it so oops Ugh, this is heavy whoo ha whoo Huh. Okay. Now this should fit right on there. Now how can I let go? Oh my god, this is big soap. Big, big soap. Okay. Now push. I think this is not tight enough. I'm afraid something's going to snap. Okay, let's try this now. Oh god. Ah, oh, it's working! Yay! Check this out. Amazing. So now I have five pretty little loaves of soup. So getting ready to see what this soap turned out like inside. Well, I guess I can't really have any high expectations as this soap traced like crazy. And I just was lucky to be able to plip plop it <laughs> into the mold. But you know, sometimes you have surprises, so. pretty plain. There's a little couple lines in there, but I think that the red soap, the soap that I colored red, will end up being all at the same place because, yeah, it didn't swirl in the pot like it was supposed to. So I guess some soaps will have lots of red and some won't have barely any. Isn't 
so bad. There's not much red, but there is interesting design in there. <clears throat> oh, okay. Here's a little red. Which isn't so bad for an almost <laughs> total panic I had there yesterday. not so bad and I got things like that <laughs> like this it's not too bad I'll take a couple pictures so this has raspberry color in it so yeah. oh sorry this is not focusing very well 